What's going on guys, Bradley Martin here, and today I'm gonna give you part, this is this was supposed to be last week actually. You know that, right? You fucked this up. You fucked this up. No, nah, bro, you fucked what, this what up. What happened when you were like, oh, I'm sick, I can't film no, today. No, it wasn't even, it was, that, was, that was two days ago. I'm talking about last week. Last week you were like, bro, let's go shoot guns, and then you ended up killing like a fucking hobo, and then we had to like deal with that Barry and all kinds of crazy shit. I was like, bro, this is fucking nuts. What are we doing in our lives? I was supposed to film the Get Shredded program. No. Two, I did Two. the same shit. Bang, bang. There you go. Alright guys, so the guest trainer program, this is leg day. Motherfucking leg day, and it's not actually arm day. It's actually leg day. Like you have to actually hit legs on this day of all days. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Okay, sorry, not sorry. Now, first exercise. And it's not really an exercise, it's more like you want to just slap yourself in the face because it's cardio, you're just warming up. Basically, I, what I like to do, I like to get on a stationary bike because I'm thinking about hitting my legs in the routine. So it's going to warm my knees, it's going to warm my joints and my, my hips. I'm going to feel much better once I start squatting, once I start getting into the leg routine. Um, so do the stationary bike, 10, 15 minutes at the most. Um, I did this in this routine, high intensity, because I don't want you to like stationary, like stay on like a, a, a long drawn out, 10 minutes like same pace this is like go 30 seconds pause go 30 seconds pause you're gonna get your body like really amped up fired up and ready for the whole routine now first exercise the stationary lunge uh, it's important when you guys do this exercise that you keep your body straight up and down and when you're doing a stationary lunge don't let your body lean forward and don't lean backwards you should be like pin drop straight up and down your back knee like whatever leg you got out right should be dropping straight down Okay, you shouldn't be going forward. You shouldn't be rocking backwards. You should be, damn, my legs are sore. You should be shaking. You should be going straight down like this. Right, straight up and down, back leg. Just think about bringing the back knee down. Keep the front leg stationary, okay? And on that, you're doing four sets, 10 to 15, sorry, 15 to 20 reps, with about a minute rest in between, switching, not switching the legs, but you do left side, right side, a minute rest, left side, right side. So don't take a break in between each leg, take a break, after you get left side, right side, then take a break, okay? And you're doing it four times. Now, the best exercise in this, I want you to see this. See, because the legs, see? Look at that, has small calves. That's a picture of you. That's though. yours. No, that's this is you. yours, bro. And it's no. also, we, we made your waist smaller, too, just to help you out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was like looking out for you. All right, what, what do you got under there? What underwear? It's all fat. Where, here? Yeah. I'm lean, bro. I'm just gonna put a picture of you being fat. Abs, so. dog. Listen, fat. five sets, back squats. Five sets, 10 reps. Um, and when you're doing these reps, focus on the contraction. The weight doesn't have to be super heavy. Just do something you can do comfortably with 10, um, but not so comfortable that it's easy. And focus on squeezing, focus on contracting the muscle throughout the whole range of motion on the way up. Like as you're coming up, squeeze, 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 finish to the top, squeeze your glutes. Hips are coming forward, butt's tight. You know, like you're trying to hold in the fart. Um, you know that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Next exercise. Oh, no, sorry. That's a two minute rest, no more than three minutes. Now, obviously, the leg press, being that it's like, you know, uh, in the commercial gym, like the holy grail of leg exercises. I was literally about to say that. Yeah, in the, in the commercial gyms. Yeah. It is. It's where true men test their strength. That is like. In a commercial gym. Yeah. Like this. Nobody cares how much you free squat. Nobody cares how much you back squat. Nobody cares how much you. It's all about how much weight you put on the bent, on the on the leg press, and yeah. then and then quarter press it. Yeah. And then go like a knee bend. Yeah. That's a true test of a man. Yeah. So that's why Bradley does it. That's why I'm doing this. No, you dick. It is a good exercise. Look at that lady. I wish you would have filmed that lady. That was funny. <laughs> she was like, bah, 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 bah. she was dead stared at me. She was like, this. look, look, watch, film me, film me. She's like driving. Ba 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 ba. I swear to God, she almost crashed. I think she just crashed. Look. Just kidding, she did. Okay, so the leg press. That's so you guys know, straight out the ebook too. So if you guys want to get it, everything is here with a lot of detail as well. Four sets, 25 reps, minute rest in between each set. Um, and again, this is like, since it's longer reps, choose a weight that's less. Obviously, because you're not going to do a ton of a ton of uh, reps with heavier weight, but really focus on keeping consistent throughout the whole set. So don't like go boom, 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 
You know, like some girls, like, you know, they like it consistent. You know, some like spice a little bit, some like really fast, some like really slow. But for you guys, the leg press likes it consistent, okay? All 25, the same speed, contract. If you can't do that, drop the weight. You know, you bit off more than you could chew, okay? Anyways, the next exercise, seated, lying, leg, seated or lying leg curls. Either one, um, I like lying because this gym has lying and the, the seated one feels weird for me. So either one you prefer, just focus on, again, contraction in this. We're focusing on using the muscle, not just going through the range of motion. I say that a lot, but I mean that shit, okay? This is the same thing as the leg press. It's gonna be four sets, 20 to 25 reps. So again, focus on the contraction, keeping the same speed throughout every set. Don't slow it down, okay? And take a minute rest. Damn, that shit is, sometimes I wanna die when I think about legs. You should just do it. Especially high volume legs. Just like whenever it says do leg day, just bring a gun that's to the gym. I just, that's what I just, fuck this shit. It'll be a lot easier. It would, cause you would have to do A it. lot better for video too. That'd be great, it'll go viral. Yeah. You're such a dickhead, fuck you. Just do it. You see why I hate that guy, right? That's why I hate him. <laughs> Does it make sense? Anyways, he's always like, yeah bro, you should punch yourself in the face. Cause like, who cares? Uh, uh. Punch yourself. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I never say punch fitness? yourself. I said, he says punch yourself. I said, let me and then he you. says other dumb shit like, I like unicorns and fairies. I'm like, Nadeem, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut up and film, bro. <laughs> you wonder why I don't like this guy. You wonder why I don't like you, man. I what? like unicorns and fairies. Who, who are you, bro? Who doesn't like unicorns and fairies? I mean, I'm not saying I don't, but like, why do you randomly say this shit when we're What's talking your favorite about unicorn? Legs? Bro, are you kidding me? Superwoman is my favorite unicorn, bro. What kind of fucking question was that? <laughs> All right. You stupid? Continue. Anyways, continue. Sorry, I get, I get, it gets crazy. Um, single, st and tag Superwoman. You can't. It's, con it's comments. You can't even tag people in comments. You can only do that on Instagram. Go to her Instagram and tag her and say I said she's my favorite unicorn. Anyways, um, single stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts. This is like, this is like the ninja exercise of this routine. Like, if you can do this, you're, you're level one ninja. Okay, because it's not that easy to pull off if you don't have some type of proprioceptive skills, balance skills, stabilization skills. Um, what you're doing, the stiff leg deadlift. Oh man, oh man, this one's hard because like if they don't, like the mechanics on this are tricky. You guys are seeing me in the video do this. What I'm focusing on, I'm focusing on keeping my weight on the back of my foot to my heel and I'm focusing on keeping my chest up. Even though I'm coming down, like even though the weight's coming down, as I'm coming down, I'm thinking about like letting my weight sit back onto my heel, keep my chest up. I'm too close to the car. All right, so you like this. All right, now what I'm doing, keeping my shoulder blades pinched, keep my shoulder blades tight, relaxing the weight down. But again, keep the weight on your heel. Let your body pivot on your heel and your hips. Think about like, man, this is just so hard to explain actually. How can you explain this better? Do you, want do video. you want to do it? I mean, it's in the video, but for people who haven't done this before, um, it's like a stiff leg. It, it's are, like you a stiff assuming, leg. are you assuming they already know what the stiff leg is? Yeah, the stiff leg deadlift. Most people know how to do that. But with single leg, it just gets, it just gets harder. You like want to fall to the side. Just keep, what if you can't do the single leg with one foot in the air, just keep it behind you the whole time. Yeah, like if you can't keep the foot in the air, like yeah, keep it and like touch the, Press the floor and like just balance yourself. It's a lot less weight than you usually do. Yeah, it's way less weight. You're focusing on keeping the um, the tightness in your hamstring. And again, like he said, if you can't balance yourself, like keep your leg out like this. Like if you can't go here, okay, keep your leg out like this. Right, so that you can balance yourself here. Okay, anyways, let's keep going. Because I know how they're on YouTube, they're like, do it like this. I want it like this. Don't do your videos how you want to do your videos. Um, these are the best exercises of the leg routine. This is the best exercise of the whole leg routine. Can you oh, guess yeah. what it is? Uh, your rest. My Which, rest. AKA. Arms. arms. Preacher curls. Um, since, you know, every day is arm day. Um, I like to preach your curl with dumbbells because it makes you feel fancy. You know? Like that sunset. See? Fancy. That's Make a sense? cloud. That's literally a cloud right there. That's not a cloud, bro. That's a, that's uh, That's a, the sun, it flattened. It flattened. I think the world's destroying itself. Cause it's, cause, cause, it's, cause the shitty form of these videos. Well, cause you did legs today. There you go. I'm trying to save it by doing arms. And, oh, uh, it's on the back, there you go. All right, yeah, anyways. Um, this is simple, three sets, eight to 12. Um, what I like to do when I do the seated, the dumbbell preachers, I keep the, 
the weights close to each other. I'll try to keep the weights pressed against each other. And then at the bottom, I'll let them like come out apart from each other. And then back together and squeeze the shit out of the biceps because fuck doing legs. But I still did them, so I, I earned that shit. Um, anyways, one of the last exercises, and certainly not the least, because let's be frank, um, my buddy Frank has really small calves. And I also don't have the best calves in the world, unless I hit them consistently. If I hit them consistently, they're great. You guys too, probably. The reality is like most people like calves is so hard to grow, but I think what really happens is calves are like, they're like the worst part of the leg to train. So you already don't like training legs. So they're like, when it comes to calves, you're like, fuck this, I'm out. And I think most people just don't train calves enough. Um, Cause I remember there was a time when I trained calves consistently, my calves blew up. And then I stopped for like six months to like, two years and I was like, this is stupid, calves are dumb, and then my calves are So the reality is stay consistent with the calf stuff, your calves will get bigger over time. Um, you know, if not, talk to Dom, because these are small, really fucking small. They're like twigs, I feel sorry for them. Anyways, see the calf raises, do this, and again, one of my favorite things when I'm doing calves, let your body get a good stretch. So let your, not your body, but let your calves get a good stretch. So in the bottom position, like, what I'll do is I'll do like my set, whatever, 25, 20 reps, whatever it is, and at the last rep, I'll bottom it out and I'll just let my calves stretch for like my rest time. Does that make sense? So whatever your rest time is, if you're gonna do a minute rest time, let your calves just rest in that stretch position and then try and go back to your set. If you rest it in that position, it's gonna burn the shit out of your calves, but I promise you over time, you'll, you'll come back and thank me. I promise you'll thank me. That's like a super good tip. And if you don't like this tip, well then fuck Nadim, okay? And of course, to finish it off because, what I, what would be like the, the icing on the shittiest cake in the world to eat? What would it be like for legs? You know, like if you had to do legs and then at the end of legs, someone was like, here's like the shittiest thing you could do at the end of legs, what would it be? What oh, do you think? Cardio. Exactly. Some more fucking cardio. Cause fuck. And at the end oh, of the cardio, fuck like, and fuck. like just make sure you fall on a, a like a, a something sharp and just like be done with it. Do that motion again? No, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm out. Don't kill yourself, guys. Seriously, that's not a joke. I know that's like. Wait, I just want to see how you kill yourself. No, bro. I'm not gonna do it again. Fuck <laughs> what? you. I'm done with that. Just shit. Do a single arm. I'm not. No. Do it single arm. <laughs> Fuck you. Who are you? You're such a tool, bro. You. Everyone wonders why. Now you know why I hate the dickhead. I hope this video explained it to all the new subscribers. Yeah, to all the new subscribers. Fuck I love you guys. Bradley. Fuck me. Fuck I'll Bradley. beat the shit out of you, bro. You Say always, that again. You, you see all the comments? Fuck Bradley. Yeah, because everyone thinks I'm serious. Like I don't really, I not like you, but sometimes I don't like you because you talk shit all the time. It's because I like, always you, when that you camera turns off. Half the time you're like, "Fuck you, bro. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. You're stupid." I, I make like, bro, Bradley. I make Bradley cry off camera, but on bro. camera he never cries. Yeah, I hold it in. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I know I'm solid. Look at that. Anyways, I'm out, guys. The Get Shredded program. If you guys want to buy the routine, all the way detail, it's in the link in the description below. Um, also, one more thing. Bros Verse channel is coming. We are filming the video next week. And the first topic is gonna be. What? I don't even wanna tell him yet. Damn, I got so close for nothing. Should I tell him? Fuck it, I'll tell him. It's Bros Verse vegan food. If you're ready for that, comment below. And also comment other, other things. Cause I've been reading you guys' comments about other ones you want. And I'm taking notes. And I'm like, okay, we're putting them into like a thing. And then we're gonna like slowly like nail them all off. So what you guys wanna see, bros versus, that again, so if you guys don't know about it, that'll be me and Dom like destroying the world together. Um, first thing is gonna be bros versus vegan food. And then put those comments, let us know what else you wanna see. I'm out, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you check out the Snapchat, the Instagram, I'm there. I post Instagram every single day. I Snapchat every single day. I tweet every single day. Um, and I make fun of Nadim like 60% of the time, the time and the day. But when he's with me, it's 80%. When he's not, I text him like really nasty things because he's constantly texting me nasty things. So, guys, remember, fuck that guy. You'll get it. You'll learn to love it. You'll learn to love to hate Nadim. True. But he's a good dude. He is a good dude. It's, you, it's you guys just bring us food at the expo also. Yeah, he'll be with me at the expo. It's all in good fun, guys. Remember, I don't really not like the guy. Not, not like the guy. Not, not, not like the guy. All right. Anyways, I'm out.